After you get your supplies together for this tutorial, the next step is to trace your dog and prep your paper for painting. You can find a full color reference photo of Prati, the Golden Retriever, in the Resources tab under this video. You can also find a black and white outline of Prati, the Golden Retriever, in case you decide to use a light box or window in order to trace the outline. Personally, I choose to use an app called DaVinci Eye that I downloaded onto my phone that helps me trace my reference photos onto my watercolor paper. You can see that I am looking into my phone as it's held on my phone clip and I can see my watercolor paper as I'm looking at my reference photo. When I start to size my reference photo on my 8x10 watercolor paper, I'm looking at the distance between the head and the outside of the paper. I want it to be around 2 inches so that I have space for my colorful splash behind. I'm going to start by tracing the outline of the head I'm not going to focus on adding every single hair. I'm going to edit it as I trace. So that means that I'm going to only trace the larger hairs that are shown in the reference photo. I'm going to speed up this video slightly, but I still wanted to show you my thought process behind which details I like to add when I'm tracing and which details I will leave out. I'm going to edit the amount of white hairs that I'm going to cover with masking fluid. You'll notice a lot of white hairs here under the nose. I'm not actually going to sketch those out. The reason being is that I find when I do add wet masking fluid to those little hairs under the mouth, it tends to look a little too busy, so I am going to leave those out. The same with the little hairs under the chin, I'm going to leave those hairs out as well. The only hairs I'm going to use masking fluid to preserve the whiteness are about three or four hairs in the corner of the mouth. As I start sketching out the eye area, I'm going to sketch out some of the shadows that are around the eye, some of these darker fur colors. I'm also going to trace the outline of the highlight of the eye so I can use masking fluid there as well. My client decided that she did not want the bandana in the final watercolor portrait. So choosing where to end the neck fur is a difficult decision to make. I decided to mimic the circular shape of the face and come down on the left hand side mimicking the curve of the face as well as on the right side I'm also mimicking the curve of the face and I'm leaving that little center section open because that is the lightest brightest part of the fur. You'll notice in my final piece that I also have this circular motion to my painting. I am not painting the fur to continue all the way down the paper. I do like to leave some of that white outline of the paper. Now that I have my sketch complete, I'm going to use some Winsor & Newton masking fluid and an old brush to paint the highlights of the eyes so that I can preserve the whiteness of the paper. You'll want to make sure to use an old brush for this as masking fluid tends to ruin brushes. I noticed two highlights in the center of the eye as well as a highlight in the corner of the eye, the inner corner of the eye. So I'm going to use a dot of masking fluid to keep that white of the paper white. I'll use a calligraphy pen with a small nib to paint the masking fluid, draw the masking fluid, onto the white of the whiskers. 
this technique is a little challenging at first, so I do recommend that you try this out on a scrap piece of paper first. You do need to remove the excess of the masking fluid from the tip of your pen before you make, before you draw these lines. My next step is to use a blue painter's tape to tape around all four sides of my 8x10 sheet of paper. And now I'm ready to paint.